21 members of a gang that has operated in the Coventry and West Midlands area have been jailed after a five-year operation by the police, seized over 15 firearms and over £1.6 million worth of drugs. It started in 2018 when the police raided a drug den in Leamington and the scale of the operation began to emerge. Between October 2017 and September 2018, police staged five warrants at properties in the Leamington area. And on the 3rd of August 2018, a woman called Sarah Reeves and a man called Moet drove from Liverpool down to the Midlands with three kilos of high-purity cocaine in the boot of the car. The police believe that this is where it all originated from, from Liverpool, and it was headed by Christopher Reeves. This was Sarah's husband, and he was the main operator alongside his right-hand man, who would ensure that all of the drugs went to where they were meant to. On the 12th of September 2018, police raided a home in Daventry, Northamptonshire, and this was the home of Caroline Daly. During the warrant, the police seized 877 grams of heroin, which is nearly a kilo, 4 kilos of cocaine, 13 kilos of amphetamines, 20 kilos of cannabis resin, 6,000 ecstasy pills, 896 grams of MDMA and 378 grams of crack. The police valued this at £830,000 and there was also large amounts of mixing agents and bulking agents in order to make more money as well. They discovered shotgun cartridges in the property alongside the drugs and the cash. On September the 14th, 2018, police raided the trailer in the Warwickshire area. This was owned by a man called Burdett and they seized drugs inside alongside 15 firearms and also ammunition. Police linked the guns to David Burdett, Christopher Reeves and also Thomas Bash. Christopher's right-hand man called Garvey Thompson sent a text message to a dealer in Warwickshire from his prison cell and it read, look around you mate, you're not in fucking Spain, you're in a crack house. And this was evidence that the police used to implicate Garvey in the operation. The police accused them of controlling a £1.3 million drug line into the Warwickshire area. Christopher and Thompson worked together to mastermind the crimes. The drugs came from Liverpool and flooded the streets of Warwickshire and the West Midlands as well as Northampton and Nottingham. The police also discovered that Garvey was trying to smuggle drugs via drone into the prison that he was in at the time when they discovered that he was involved. The seizure of several phones began to open up the operation, the police said. Detective Sergeant Sarah Wolseley, who headed up the serious crime unit, said the biggest surprise for us was the warrant in Daventry and also that we recovered dashcam footage from one of the vehicles and it shows the, the extent of the drug dealing. When they discovered the firearms, the police said that they realised the network was big and they didn't realise the scale of it and how it went from Liverpool all the way down to the West Midlands. Christopher Reeves, aged 44, was the ringleader of the group. His nickname was Polar Bear. He lived with his partner Sarah Reeves in rugby and he directed and organised the supply runs. Warwickshire Crown Court heard that between September 2017 and October 2018, Reeves had made 14,000 phone calls with other defendants many of them planning drug deals. He has been jailed for 17 years. His right-hand man, Garvey Thompson, was known as Bex, and he was in prison for the majority of the period that the police were investigating. He played a leading role, they said, and he would direct Reeves and also help the supply line in the Leamington area. He was jailed for 12 years and 10 months. And the rest of the sentences are available to read on the website. And this story definitely goes to show how one raid or one arrest can lead to the downfall of a whole operation where the police discovered a nationwide distribution network that had heavy firearm backup in case things went wrong. And in this case, thankfully, none of these firearms were used and nobody was injured. So really appreciate you joining me for this story. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.